Welcome back, IB Economics students, to this video lecture on cost theory. Okay, and in this lecture, we're going to be going over cost theory and what it looks like in graphic form. You know, us economists really like to put a theories and, and, and applications in the graphic forms. So a cost theory includes a variety of different, different costs. It includes total, uh, total fixed cost, total variable cost, um, total cost um average variable cost average total cost and marginal costs and in the last video we have already calculated all of these we've, we've talked about what they calculate and what they look like and 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 in this video we're going to want to be going over how um the cost theory and how all of these each variables look like when they are graphed in a graphic form okay so the first thing we want to look at is the total fixed cost or tfc okay so 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 total fixed cost like we have learned before um, refers to um, the fixed cost to a firm re regardless of the variable quantities and regardless of the quantity output. So regardless of if you produce zero goods or if you produce eight goods, you are going to be having the same exact total fixed cost. So from this table right here, we could see that a total fixed cost is, is constant. Therefore, when we look at when with reference to this graph right here, regardless of the cost and regardless to the output, total fixed cost is fixed. Therefore, this line is a horizontal line okay so that's the first thing the, the first cost within cost theory is total fixed cost total fixed cost is a, is a horizontal line that is completely straight because regardless of the production quantities and the total variable uh, and the variable quantities the total fixed cost remains fixed okay total variable cost on the other hand refers to the increases or the changes in ex each additional cost when there is a change in the variable uh, in the variable um, factor so the variable factor right here is Q which is labor okay so labor increases by one unit from zero to one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight okay so labor increases by one unit e each time and total variable cost uh, increases by 200 each time there is an increase in, in in the Q or the increase in the, vari in, in the variable factor. Therefore, TVC increases, okay, increases like this. Therefore, uh, this line TVC illustrates the increase uh, uh, in, 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 in the total variable cost. Now, what is the total cost? In our last video, we talk, in, in the last lecture, we talked about the total cost. The total cost equals T E. TFC plus TVC. Okay, so total cost equals total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Of course, that makes a lot of sense because the total cost refers to all of the cost, the the all of the cost for operation, and the total cost for operation is the fixed plus variable cost. Therefore, total variable cost does not start at total 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 cost does not start at zero like the total variable cost does, but total cost starts at the point at which the TFC starts. Therefore. Therefore, the entire curve shifts upwards. Okay, so this is TFC, TVC, and TF uh, and TC uh, and TVC. Okay, right. Great. Okay. Now, uh, ATC, AVC, and marginal cost. So, average total cost, average variable cost, marginal cost, and average fixed cost. Now, what does this look like? Now, average fixed cost decreases. Uh, it, it decreases at a very high slope, and it slows down. Uh, the slope and, and the slope decreases. That's what the total fixed cost looks like. So this is what the total cost fix looks like because as the as the uh, production quantity for a uh, firm increases, the total fixed cost does not increase. However, the quantity increase. And remember, total fixed cost or average average fixed cost is calculated by total fixed cost divided by quantity. So as quantity increase, the total fixed cost still remains the same. Therefore, total average fixed cost decreases over time. Okay. Now, marginal cost. Marginal cost, as we have seen in the calculations in the in our last lecture, it decreases onto the onto the minimum point and it increases. So it goes from twenty to thirteen to ten to eight. Eight of which is the minimum point of ma uh, of marginal cost. After marginal cost uh, reaches minimum, it will increase again. Now, why would it increase? Uh, it, it increases because of the uh, uh the the theory of diminishing marginal returns, out of which is really important, and we also have another uh, video on it. Now, why does marginal cost decrease in the first place. So marginal cost per unit decreases in the first place because of economies of scale. However, after reaching the eco uh, 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 the, um, the optimum point of 8 at quantity uh, uh, a variable quantity of 4, it starts to increase because of this economies of scale kicking in.
So this is what the uh, marginal cost curve looks like. The marginal cost curve looks like a U, a U shape where it decreases and it increases again. It decreases because of economies of scale and it increases because of this economies of scale. Okay, right. Okay, so average total cost. Average total cost refers to the to refers to the total cost divided by the quantity output. So that that would be of course higher than average variable cost because average variable cost does not account for the to a fixed cost or the total fixed cost. Therefore, the average total cost and the average variable cost is basically the same exact curve. However, the ATC is just higher than the AVC. Now, it is important to take note that the marginal cost curve, the MC curve, intersects the ATC and the AVC curve at its minimal point. Okay, so we can see at the ATC, it goes down, goes down, at, at, at its minimum point, we intersect the marginal cost, and then it d increases again because of this economies of scale. Again, the same thing occurs for average variable cost. It decreases because of economies of scale uh, onto the max, onto the optimal point where or it is intersected with the marginal cost, and then it increases again because of this economies of scale. Now, the production quantity for any firm they want to do at for profit maximization is at MC equals ATC. That point of which is the minimization of a uh, cost and the maximization of profit. Now that is um, the theory of the frame. We'll be going into that in the future videos. But in, in this uh, lecture and cost theory part two, you just really need to be able to illustrate a uh, total cost, total variable cost, and total fixed cost in correlation with each other. So total fixed cost is a horizontal line because it does not change regardless of the variable factor. The total variable cost starts off at zero and increases at, at, at a rate um, in, in correlation to the fixed uh, or, or, or the increasing factors of variable factors. Now, total cost um, in, in calculation and total cost equals total variable cost plus total fixed cost, that of which is calculated uh, and, and, and shown through this graph where um, instead of starting at zero as total variable cost does, the total cost starts at, uh, at total Variable cost plus total fixed cost, therefore starting at this point. Okay. Average fixed cost decreases over time because average fixed cost is average cost divided by quantity. A uh, fixed cost does not change. Fixed cost does not increase. As shown as right here, the fixed cost is 400 uh, regardless of the variable factor. Uh, fixed cost is, does not change. However, the quantity output changes. Therefore, fixed cost decreases uh, uh, at, at a decreasing slope. Marginal cost decreases first uh, be, uh, onto a point of, of a lowest minimum point. It uh, decreases because of more uh, uh, economies of scale and then it increases because of this economies of scale. Average total cost and average fixed cost are the same curve. However, average total cost is higher because average variable cost does not account for the average fixed cost. Marginal cost intersects ITC and AVC at its lowest point because, um, because this economies of scales and economies of scale or average it out and reaching at the point where marginal cost intersects the two curves.